I read in a newspaper article that fully 30% of children born to Pakistani couples have special needs issues. Well, I decided to dig in a little bit more. Plus the fact that failed marshal Asim Munir is giving his daughter away in marriage to his elder brother Qasim Munir's son also piqued my interest. He said, why the heck would you like to, uh, you know, try to marry off brothers? Well, looks like it is permitted in Islam. It used to be permitted in Christianity also, but it was banned, I am told, in the 6th century. But we also saw in Christianity that in the 19th century, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, that one had the same issue. The last king who ruled over the big empire uh, before it started breaking apart, he had married his mother's younger sister's daughter. And there is a show called The Empress, you can watch on Netflix, it's multiple seasons. And uh, see, the thing is, these things have a lots of congenital defects. And that's probably why there is such a high percentage of children with special needs. Well, we decided to investigate this thing further to get an idea of what ails Pakistan. The results will alarm you because you might say, oh well, you know, even it's uh, allowed in Hindu families. No, it is not allowed. In Hindu families, what is allowed are two things. One is that you can marry your sister's daughter or let's say there is a brother and a sister, their kids can marry. So, but not a brother and brother or a sister and sister. Those things are not allowed and even these things are being frowned upon in India even as we speak now as there is bigger pool to play with. So these things are very, very rare. But you have to understand two things that are happening in Pakistan. One is thalassemia and what it is I'll explain to you in a minute and consanguinity. So both these words I'm going to explain to you in just a second but the statistics are truly alarming. Here we go. Who was Parashurama? who led a life of devotion, dedication and daring. Why did he take birth on the earth? Was it to eradicate corrupt Kshatriya rulers who had become tyrannical and oppressive or was it to bestow daya for the needy? Pakistan's consanguinity crisis and newborn health. Pakistan has one of the world's highest rates of cousin marriages, a deeply rooted cultural practice that significantly elevates the risk of rare genetic disorders, infant mortality and long-term health complications in newborns. The consanguinity rate, which is marriages between biological relatives, primarily first cousins in Pakistan is between 63 to 70 percent. 7 in 10, that's a very high number. Next, the genetic risk of children of first cousin parents face double or triple the risk of congenital abnormalities compared to unrelated couples. So when they go into this marriage and they have children, those children have two to three times higher risk of being born with some problems. The carrier status is an estimated 10 million of Pakistanis are carriers of thalassemia, a blood disorder largely propagated through inter-family union. So this has been happening for a long time in Pakistan looks like and that is why once you have thalassemia then the percentages go up drastically, the chances that your child will be born with abnormalities really really goes up. The prevalence of cousin marriage has been there for a long time, national surveys show it has been stable at over 60% for decades. Regional intensity is that in some rural areas, it is as high as 80 to 85%. There are lots of economic drivers for this because people feel that the property, wealth, assets and all will be within the kinship group called Baradari systems. Then the genetic risks of long-term inbreeding, recessive disorders, when both parents carry the same rare mutations, children have a 25%, that is 1 in 4 of being affected. Compounding effect, generations of intermarriage create runs of homozygosity, increasing the severity of genetic traits. The impact is a higher prevalence of thalassemia, microcephaly, congenital deafness and metabolic disorders. Fact checking, 3 in 10 special needs is probably a high number. 
But there's also a stunting problem in uh, Pakistan of close to 40%. And there are also other situations such as general development delays, not solely genetic disorders. The genetic reality is while not 30% of all birds, but up to 10% of children in high consanguinity families suffer from significant congenital issues. The health burden goes up dramatically. Consanguinity is linked to 90% of all diagnosed genetic disorder cases in Pakistani pediatric clinics. What are the solutions and mitigation strategies? Mandatory screening. Some provinces have legislated mandatory thalassemia testing before marriage. Let's hope that Asim Munir's daughter and his brother Kasim Munir's son did undergo this test. Public education. Increasing genetic literacy to help families understand the risk of bad blood, hereditary traits. Genetic counseling. Expanding access to specialized clinics that provide risk assessments for engaged cousins. So there you have it. So essentially, 1 in 10 have severe problems with special needs and this can be rectified if you test before you get into marital bliss. Let's hope that Kethi Marshall did check this for his daughter and his brother checked it for his son and that they are going to have healthy offspring. After all, we're all looking forward to more failed marshals from Pakistan. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.